If you want your AI music to sound like a real professional song, you will likely want to edit your song after creating it. And Suno has this epic editing feature that gives you 10 times the flexibility when editing your songs. And we'll cover exactly how to use it. This is the first iteration of the song. Some stories don't end with the bang, but a shrug. I gave you everything. And this is the song after editing it with this new feature. I took the vocals out so that I could use the song as the background for this very video. You have much more control over what you want to do with the music. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how to edit specific parts of your songs, extract clean stems, and rearrange everything to get amazing sounding music in just minutes. I'll even show you how to use this feature to get background music for your YouTube videos. Plus, I'll show you how people are actually making money with these kind of tools. This is a super comprehensive Suno artist update. I've created thousands of AI songs, and my Suno tutorials have been watched by over 250,000 people. So check those out, they're linked somewhere if you're new here to this channel. You can also download my free AI lyric generator that has been downloaded and used by over 30,000 creators. So grab that in the link in the description. Quick disclaimer before we get started, Suno gave me early access to try these features out and give my honest opinion. However, all of the opinions that I'm sharing in this video are my own, but I wanted to thank Suno for giving me early access. Let's get right to it. All right, let's log in. Click on the link in the description or head to suno.com. You can sign up for free and you get access to Suno version 3.5, so you don't get access to the newest models that we're covering today, but you do get 10 songs for free every single day. Before we dive into the heart of editing songs, let me first show you another neat feature that most people don't know about. This is the advanced control slider. When you're creating a song and you click on the advanced options right here, you see this new feature that has the weirdness and the style influence buttons that you can now change. The weirdness will turn up unexpected results and the style influence helps you match your style description much closer. Let me give you a quick example. Let's give it a style description and call it country hip hop trap. I'm gonna click on the create a creative prompt and let's use most of this. Twangy banjo, slight guitar riffs. All right, let's, let's keep it to the first line here. The first song we'll create is gonna be our bass line. So let's click this here and call this and let's hit create. We will keep everything the same and we will now bring the weirdness and the style influence to zero. Usually only change one of these sliders at a time, but for the sake of this video, we would be here forever just testing out this feature. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do that, but to keep this video to less than 10 minutes, let's just try the extremes here. And we'll do the same with 100 and 100. And let's hit create. All right, we see that the three songs here, the three types of songs have been created. Now that these have been generated, once you click on them, you can see on the right hand side, the control settings, as well as the style prompt and the lyrics. But this control setting feature here is new. So let's listen to them and you let me know in the comments which of these you prefer. 50, 50, 0, 0 or 100, 100. What you doing right now? All right, this already did a great job of combining the country and the hip hop mix. So I really like that already, uh, but let's check out the other two as well. So this is zero zero. So the weirdness here is uh, for zero zero is all the way turned down. So it is more generic and has less of that creativeness to it. And the style influence is also turned all the way down. So I guess it's going freestyle. So I could see places where if you want something really controlled to have the style influence on hundred and the weirdness all the way to zero or vice versa, have the style influence all the way to zero and the weirdness to a hundred, then it will probably be very different to your regular um, song description that you have. Let's listen to the chorus here. Yeah, in my opinion, keeping the weirdness and the style influence all the way to zero, it doesn't sound as good to me as the other version, but let's listen to the 100-100 and see if we hear a difference. So it does take into account the twangy banjo as well as the, um, the acoustic guitar, but the intro is already very different than most other songs. What's doing right now? 
CEO. How old? Yeah, she's amused, but I wouldn't touch her. All that I love is if I don't even like her. This is a very creative song and you can already hear that it doesn't sound like any songs that I've really listened to. So I like that it is um, very creative and it does sound more weird because it's at 100, but also it follows the uh, style description. So kudos to that. But you can see here the edit button right next to the song. So this is a new feature that we're going to showcase right now. I'll first show you how to edit a song and then I'll show you how I use this in order to edit a song that you can then use as background music to a YouTube video. For example, the background music to this YouTube video has been been created by Suno with the same method. Let's get right to it. We're not going to start from scratch right now. I want to show you how you can change songs that you've created in the past and make them even better. All right, I created this song called The Idea of Her and it is really catchy, but it doesn't start to get catchy until around the one minute mark. Let me show you the drop that I really love. I don't even like her. Just the idea of her. This is in love, just a mental I really like that part. However, I don't really like the part that comes before it right here. I need you to and I really like the drum and the snare and I want to repurpose that in the beginning of this song. So let me show you how you can edit this. Simply click on the edit button right here. This is what you'll see. You'll see the verse, the pre-chorus and the chorus. You can start moving the cursor to listen to different sections. Once you select the portion of the song that you want to edit, you can also see that the lyrics are selected on the left hand side. If you want to replace this, it has never been easier. You can simply go down here and click on the styles and you can either replace the lyrics and you can also change the style of the changes that you want to make. So let's give a listen to the first uh, part of the verse and then let's think about how we want to re rearrange and change it. What you doing right now? I really want to see you. I was gonna go out, but baby, I need you. All right, so that part is uh, very calm and collected. I would prefer it to start with something that is more acoustic and not with the words right away. So I would take all of my lyrics, go to my free lyric maker, check it out in the descriptions, and I would just paste that in here and I say, give me an alternative. I'm simply prompting, give me an alternative start to the beginning of the song with a more acoustic start, keep the lyrical flow alive as it is right now. And I simply paste all of the lyrics that I have right here. My custom GPT knows the structure that works best with Suno lyrics, and it also knows how to prompt it properly in order to get the right wording. And it also knows the Suno prompt that works best with this. So I will go back here. I have this part selected. I'm clicking on style and I'm adding acoustic pop ballad intro, male vocal soft guitar intro. Let's keep it simple and just change that. And let's just copy the intro part that we want to now be replaced here and we'll just fix that right here. Let's click on replace and now it is preparing the song to be changed. It's just finished creating two alternatives to the song that we just created. So let's give it a listen. Just sitting on my porch, guitar in my hand, thinking about your voice. That is already much more like what I envisioned. And I really like that it kind of chopped it up into this intro that is a bit more acoustic. And you can see here it uh, took into account the style that I wanted. Let's take a look at the WAV uh, file over here. You can see that it spikes, so it probably adjusts so that it fits well with the pre-course. Uh All right, the chop between that is still a little bit rough, but keep in mind, this is still on beta, but overall, I think it already fits pretty well into the song. Yeah, that is pretty good. Let's listen to the other one here. Just sitting on my porch, guitar in my hand. Thinking about your voice and how I miss that sound. I almost like this uh, better. I like the slow intro a bit more from the first version here, but this one has the better sound in the voice. Let's go over here to the transition. Ooh. 
that works pretty well. So let's commit to this one and uh, insert that where we had it before. We can see here that it still took a little bit from the previous clip. Let's just take that out by uh, deleting this. Here we have it. I showed you exactly how to change the intro of a song. You can use the same methodology in order to change the pre-chorus. But my favorite feature about all of this is really getting to the stems. So um, let's take a listen to the chorus before we split this into different stems and rearrange that in GarageBand. I don't even like her. Just the idea of her. This isn't love. All right. This is super catchy. So let's click on get stems and click on extract stems right here. The way that this works is that Suno takes into account how the song sounds like and then it regenerates each of these stems individually. Instead of doing it the other way around where it sub subtracts the music from one another, it reimagines how the stems could sound like individually and then it recreates them from scratch. And this now gives you a whole other opportunities to rearrange them later on in different softwares. Check this out. What you doing? We can individually mute any parts of the tracks that we don't like to see how it would sound like without them. You can listen to the, just the vocals by clicking the S symbol here and it just selects the one that you clicked on. What you doing right now? Let's unmute all of these uh, other tracks again and do that one at a time. This is for example the background synth. I was gonna go out. And if we go back to the point that we like with the bass drop, let's see how that sounds like without the lyrics. I don't even like her. Just the idea. I love that. So if I wanted to sing over the song, I could just export all of these different tracks and then record my own vocals over this AI generated background track. And this works so much better than any of the previous versions of uh, anything that I've tried with Suno. So this feature is phenomenal. So let's do that right now here. Let's click on download all. And here we have them. We have all of the individual tracks right there. All of the individual tracks. So if you wanted to go over to Ableton or Logic or in this case GarageBand, you can now start a new track and import all of these individual instruments one by one. I can simply drag them into a new project and then it auto aligns them here and we can see the different WAV files as they uh, belong next to each other. For example, we can see here that the brass instrument is barely used so we could even take away this whole track. And same with the guitar, the keyboard, the percussion, all of those are not really used. The main tracks that we want to pay attention to is the bass, the backing vocals, as well as the drums. So if I wanted to create a new song here, I could either recreate the vocals or I could just rearrange stuff and see how they sound without, for example, the synth on the bass drop. Let's uh, see what this sounds like. Let's see what the chorus sounds like without the synth. I don't even like her. Just the idea of This is in love, just a mental so this actually has a really interesting sound. If you take away the synth here as well as the bass, this gives me a whole different dimension to the song that was previously not possible. And as you can tell, I have full editing abilities here within this tool as well as the Suno stem splitter. I'm leaving in the vocals and I can now export the song to disc and I have a rearranged song that I had my own creative input in by using AI to get a first feel for the song. And then I would usually re-record over it or change uh, instruments or replay instruments over the track. But don't click away quite yet because I will show you two more cool things. First, I'll show you how I use this in my day-to-day -day workflow in order to make background music for videos like this one. And then I'll show you how some people are making money with this and the guide that I've created for people like you that wanna use AI tools in order to make money with music or that just wanna be more creative. So let me get right to it. The easiest way to get background music for your videos is actually by just taking away the vocals, turning up the bass a bit, and then uh, making sure that the drums aren't hitting too hard. So let's do exactly that. So remember, this is the song. So let's... So let's deselect the vocals, let's deselect the backing vocals, and let's uh, turn up the synth, and let's turn up the bass. Bring down the drums a bit, and let's give it a listen.
All right, come on. You can't tell me that this isn't good background music. This sounds catchy. It doesn't distract from the music. So uh, this already works well, but if you want to go above and beyond, you can also add some uh, controls down here with an EQ and with a compressor. So what usually works, because your voice is really important that your voice comes through, is to increase the lows a little bit of your song, because this is, um, your voice doesn't have a lot of lows and your voice doesn't have as many highs. So let's increase those while bringing down the mids a little bit. And let's give it another listen. and bring down the drums more. Perfect. So if we go down to the middle section, this is a perfect background song for YouTube or for something else. Amazing. But you can achieve the same effects within Suno directly. So if we go back to Suno, we have this song right here. If we go to Get Stems, you just uh, deselect the backing vocals and the vocals, and you have the same effect pretty much of what we just recreated in GarageBand. Don't tell me if you are. Right? This could work really well as a background track on YouTube. So now you can download these and save them separately as a different song. However, but we're not done yet because I created a super sick song recently while playing around with this that I think could be a really good uh, background track. So let's go over here to play to songs. Let's click on liked. And it is this hip hop uh, country fusion song that I created. Wow. Some stories don't end with the bang, but a shrug. I gave you everything, every hug, every little how was your day that you And I really like that. Uh, it's such a good sounding beat and so catchy and it makes me happy. So let's click on um, edit with editor and let's click on get stems over here. And we would do the same thing we just did. I would pretty much just take away the vocals and the backing vocals and turn down the drums a bit, but that would then be my background music. So let's click on that. Let's click on this. This is a great beat that you can rap onto or you can just use it as a background uh, song. So let's uh, download these all and uh, rearrange them and just save them as a background beat without the vocals. Even just the synth part here, I think this alone could be its own background track for a background song. So let's just download this separately and we have it right here. Let's give it another listen. Wonderful. Now you're probably wondering, how does this matter to you? And let me tell you that some people are actually using this technology in order to make money. So I've put together this guide um, that shows people how to make money with AI music, such as with Suno. It includes my guide on how to write hit songs with Suno. And it also includes my AI Lyric Maker. By the way, you can download this for free also in the description. And then we have a bunch of different ideas of how you can monetize this. For example, you can create your own YouTube channel that creates really niche music. And I even list some of the tools that people use in order to blow up on YouTube. I'm still working on getting there as well, but uh, just focusing on music can help you uh, blow up as well. Other ideas include how to get onto streaming platforms. So you can um, actually work with streaming platforms in order to distribute your AI music and use that as a platform. And you can also uh, work on licensing your music and getting um, licensing and sync deals. And this is especially helpful with the background music that I just showed you how to create, because a lot of people want to find unique background songs for their videos, for their TV shows, for their movies, and you can now create them with a click of a button. There's a bunch more ideas in here, as you can see here, but uh, feel free to check this out in your own time. I love playing around with this and all these new tools help me be more creative on my own ends and not just click a button and regenerate the song from scratch if it didn't work out the way that I wanted it to work out in the first place. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you stuck around until here, I hope you found this video helpful. And if so, leave a like and maybe a comment. If you didn't find it helpful, let me know in the comments also. Regardless, you'll probably find this video super helpful and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out.